I hope everyone's well. I wanted to make a video to talk to you about the world's most pure silver coins. Um, I've got here coins from the Royal Silver Company, Bolivia. Um, these are 99999 pure silver coins. Really nice looking coins there, lots of detail. They claim these coins are the highest purity silver coins available in the world. Again, that's 5-9 pure silver. Um, interesting company here, the Royal Silver Company. I guess they're in Bolivia. They claim to be a zero emission smelter, mint, and refiner. Um, they have a technology they're calling Argox. It's, a, I guess, a extraction method or smelting method pretty interesting I'll see if I can copy and, and post a video about the Argox refining but the company's interesting they've got five nine silver coins they also offer silver bonds um, they're promising an 11 percent return on investment um, they say 11 percent to 30 percent depending on the price of silver they're selling a $5,000 bond. They say there's only 400 of them issued. Um, and yeah, they're in Bolivia. Um, they got a couple different silver coins. I've got two of them here. And um, pretty interesting company. Some interesting videos there if you wanted to check out the website. Again, it's the Royal Silver Company. And um, just pick these up. I like them. There's a lot of detail on those. See if I can get some good picture here. There's the Andean cat and also the blue macaw. And um, really nice, you know, high quality finish coins here. You can see down the bottom there the five nines. Here's the the back here. Royal Silver Company and they seem to think you know that they're gonna get a lot of growth in the future um, they're trying to you know expand on this Argox technology from what I understand it sounds like it's basically a leaching method um, as opposed to like a heat based refiner they claim it's zero emission which you know I kinda laughed at when I first saw that I said you know are they powering this facility with unicorn farts or what's their uh you know how are you refining metal with zero percent emissions i still question it you know i think that it's debatable whether or not their facilities zero emission i'm sure there's a little um you know method there in the way they're able to claim that but it does sound like a great technology um sounds like you know they've really reduced the emissions um they're able to call it zero emission but you know we all know it takes energy to do things so I, I do question that but it sounds really interesting they're using um, you know a completely different method of uh, silver extraction pretty interesting concept compared to the way you know everybody else does it with a heat based method um, you know furnaces and whatnot so interesting company beautiful coins I'm pretty sure these are fairly low mintage and um, yeah, I like them. This is my favorite of the two. A lot of detail there on the macaw. Really nice looking coins. So I hope everybody enjoys um, these. And, you know, take a look at their website. If nothing else, it was interesting. Um, and, yeah, this book here I'm reading. I've read a few books by Ron Paul, and I really like Ron Paul. I've enjoyed a couple of his books. Um, a couple of them, you know, were a little hard, hard of a read. Um, a couple of them were pretty exciting, pretty well written books. This one I'm finding to be, you know, I'm learning a lot from it, and it is interesting, but it's a really tough read, and not hard in the, you know, it's not like the words are too hard or anything, but it's just, it's like history you know history and monetary um, concepts and it's very educational but it's also you know it feels like you're uh, studying for a college exam or something 
good book. I mean, I'm, I'm going to finish it out and I'm really, you know, learning a lot. There's a lot of stuff that I wasn't aware of or hadn't really thought about. A lot of interesting history there on like booms and busts and monetary cycles and, um, you know, different banks and the way that the banking system came to be. But it is, you know, I'm having to muscle through it. It is a, a tough read. It's not a real page turner. Um, like I, I read his uh, Liberty Defined, and I thought Liberty Defined was an excellent book. And, um, you know, really a page turner for me kind of had me interested. And, you know, you didn't want to put it down. And this one I'm having to, you know, make sure that I pick it up and read a few pages here and there. But I'm glad I'm reading it. I'm learning a lot. I do really like Ron Paul. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd feature that. I'm sure a lot of you have read the book. For anybody who hasn't, you know, there's a lot of good information in there. You might want to check this book out. Thanks for watching.